We're going to begin with this all new at 11, a heated debate going late into the night about the future of Charlotte. Charlotte City Council listening to public comments about the Charlotte 2040 plan. That's the city's plan for development over the next 20 years. It includes everything from transportation to affordable housing and new zoning ordinances. There is plenty to sort through with this plan. It can be confusing, so let's verify the facts. Our Hunter Signs joins us live. Hunter, a lot to discuss here about a plan that will impact everyone here in Charlotte. It certainly could, Sarah. If passed the way it is, this would completely transform the way Charlotte looks over the next several decades. Some 109 people signed up to talk about this before City Council, and it was all about this 318 page 2040 comprehensive plan. As you can imagine, there is a lot in it. I've been digging through it page by page. We simply don't have enough time in the newscast to get to it all, but here are some of the highlights. If it is passed the way it currently is written, the plan would make every neighborhood a 10 minute neighborhood where all essential goods and services like grocery stores, healthcare clinics, banks and schools are just a 10 minute walk, bike ride or transit right away. The plan would also increase mobility to reduce traffic. It would also increase diversity and inclusion in every neighborhood by making it easier to build different types of homes in all neighborhoods. This is one of the more controversial ideas in the plan that's caused a bit of confusion. So let's set the record straight. A main question that I've been getting is, are we getting rid of single family zoning? My source tonight is the Charlotte 2040 comprehensive plan itself. According to the plan, it does not get rid of single family zoning. The plan states that it would allow duplex and triplex housing units on all lots where single family housing is allowed. That basically means single family only neighborhoods could be transformed with duplexes and triplexes if landowners want to build them, but the plan does not stop you from building a single family home. Still, some are split on the issue. Worries over property values falling when duplexes, triplexes, and quadruplexes are allowed in the neighborhood are, sim are simply unsubstantiated. In fact, the opposite is true. Dilworth, Plaza Midwood, and Myers Park are prime examples where this type of density is already hiding in plain sight. If we do not protect the option of exclusive single family zoning, such, as an, op such an option will become fewer and even more unaffordable. Those wishing to raise a family in a single family home will have to look to move further out from the city. Now, this plan, as written, got so much pushback over the past several weeks and tonight that Mayor Vi Lyles actually postponed the timeline of it possibly passing. It was supposed to come before the entire council next month. That's been pushed back a few months, and it could be voted on by June 30th. But we can verify tonight that this will not get rid of single-family zoning. In Plaza Midwood, Hunter Signs, WCNC Charlotte. All right, Hunter, thank you.